All right, keeping in, in tune with these DIY videos, trying to punch off all the DIY videos for the kayak, and then I'll do a full walk around, offshore setup, that kind of thing. Next up is the DIY rod holders, or the ultimate DIY rod holders. I didn't come up with this idea. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. The specific one that I used for inspiration to make these. This is not my new Hobie Outback kayak. My friend hit me up and he's like, hey, can you send me some pictures of your of your rod holders so I can make one the same? And I was like, uh, you know what? I need to make a video of how to make these rod holders and I don't need another set. So, um, so I'm just gonna make one, but I'm gonna fit it to his Hobie Outback quite a bit wider than my Revo. My Revo is only 28 inches wide. This is probably an extra like four to six inches wider. Um, but same basic design. Uh, so I'll walk you through the steps. And Charlie. For this project, we'll be using half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe, which is white. You can also use quarter inch PVC pipe. Another option is also ABS schedule 40 pipe, which is what we used on the DIY bait tube. ABS floats, PVC does not. You'll need one 10 foot length of half inch PVC pipe, one cross, five T's, two 45 degree elbows, and two 90 degree elbows. When it comes to the 10 foot length, if you go to a big box store like Home Depot, they have PVC cutters and saws available. So. Uh, if you don't already own one and or don't want to purchase one, then you can just cut the pieces while you're there. I cut mine down into two foot long pieces and then six 10 inch pieces and then nine two inch long pieces. This project is entirely customizable, so feel free to just use my basic design to make something of your own, something that works for you. It always feels like I need one more rod holder, but I'm not just carrying around rods, I'm carrying camera gear and I stick stuff in the rod holders. Now that I've got all the pieces laid out, the really, the only difficult part of this project other than cutting and gluing pieces together, uh, which is super easy, is finding a way to get the PVC to match the diameter of the, the rod holders that are pre-installed. On Kevin's kayak, it looks like it's just a straight same diameter down the length of it, slightly less than a half inch. So the method we're gonna use to, to make it fit is a heat gun. But if you don't have a heat gun or you don't want to introduce heat to your rod holders via heating up the piece of PVC that's gonna end up in there. You can use quarter inch PVC and then you can use tape to just bring up the diameter to make it make it fit in the rod holder. Let's get to heating these up and then forming them to the holes. I've got a bucket of water right here just to help me cool off the PVC pieces in between because I definitely don't want to get the kayak too warm. As you're forming these, just take your time cooling the pipe off in between, letting the the rod holder, the flush mounted rod holders cool down because they get heated up to some extent from, from the pipe. But just go a little bit at a time. The hardest part is getting started. Obviously you don't want to hold the heat gun in the same spot. It's just going to burn the plastic and you don't want that even though you should paint over PVC because just plain PVC looks like. So the, the rod holders are splayed out. Now we need to uh, use the heat gun to blend them. On the inside of the tube, I put an arrow facing forward on the kayak and then left or right, just so I know which one goes where if you ever take this apart or take it out or after you paint it and then you got to stick it back in, you can actually get it back in the same way because I'm sure the left and right are slightly different. Now it's time to start throwing all the other pieces of PVC together to test fit it, to get it on there. We'll see how it looks, and then we can take everything apart and then start gluing everything. So there's the kind of the first look at what it's gonna look like as far as the overall height. Charlie can't stop sniffing around everything. Um, the actual rod holders themselves are quite a bit higher than on my kayak. Um, but the whole, the top half is gonna be glued together and the bottom half, or the bottom two pieces that go into the rod holders, uh, those won't be glued. So if it's too high, we can just cut them down. I 
so I'll have to mold one piece that'll go back into here. It's the same attachment that I used for my light stick, which will probably be the next DIY video, but I'm gonna put the same attachment in for him because he uses a sail on this kayak and he's gonna use that to wrap the, the rigging lines. The next thing I'm gonna do is mold the all the rod holders to, to splay out. So it'll be easier to, to get the, the rods into the holes. And plus it makes it look a little bit less like PVC uh, polyvinyl chloride. Uh, and this is what I'm gonna do to the back of his. Yeah, same basic, this inch and a half coupling, inch and a half pipe down to this, which is I think an inch and a quarter to three quarter threads. Time to start gluing this thing together. It's a new day, ran out of light last night. But what you didn't see was I washed all the PVC parts with soap and water just to try and get most of the crap off there. Did a complete test fit before I start, I'm gonna start gluing anything together. I'm just using this two-part primer cement combo. It's specifically meant for PVC pipe. The primer goes on first, the purple stuff, you let that dry, and then you add the cement, which is more clear, gooey, yeah, that second jam the pieces together and then it dries uh, extremely quickly so you don't have much time to screw around but the, the plan is to start off with the back part of the rod holders so his is slightly different be going the four-way connector to the t uh, and as well as the the spacers that will go in there so we'll glue all that together first uh, just because it doesn't matter the orientation of those as long as the T and the, the four-way piece are in the same plane. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing all the rod holders into place. There, there, and then on the, the roughly the 45 or the 45 degree rod holders. And that's that's really up to the point where things start to get tricky with because you want to get the angles right on my rod holders. So they sit like that, the the very bottom of the rod holders, where it, um, that is supposed to be parallel to the surface of the kayak. Um, my rod holders, they tilt back, which is why there's an angle there. But of course, we're gonna test fit all this stuff on the kayak to get the right angles. And then I got a Sharpie to mark exactly um, where to put it so I can get it in that same angle again. got all the pieces set up now to start gluing them into place for the the right angles on the kayak at this point we're gonna kind of reassemble everything to get on the kayak and then just position everything so it looks correct and then we'll use the uh, the sharpie to mark the correct angles and then we'll come back and glue them so I got everything set to the angles that I want it on the four vertical rod holders the two trolling rod holders uh, the ones that stick out at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna glue everything else together and then I'm gonna figure those out just because there's too many moving parts right now. Before I paint the surface, I'm gonna clean it. And I'm gonna clean it using brake cleaner. Some pretty nasty stuff, so make sure you wear gloves if you do that. But I'll just clean the surface off, and then I'm gonna apply more of the purple primer just to help the paint stick. And then after that, we'll throw on the, the paint, which is this spray-on truck bed liner.
ran out of paint, but I got most of the bottom done. And I probably had like half a can there. So if you just get one whole can, you should be fine. One eternity later. His rod holders are higher, so he's got more space. Down in here, he's probably got another three inches or so. He said he's planning on putting his fish bag under there. Uh, so underneath mine, presently, you can only fit about a 50 pound tuna under there, and that's a stretch. Um, so I'll probably end up lengthening the molded pieces on my kayak pretty soon. I just didn't have time or otherwise I would have done it last night. Thanks as always for watching and supporting the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to hear from you, and I'll see you next video.